83 inches of snow. Normal through this date is 70, so we're good by an extra foot. Where were we last year? Way under, only wow. 45 inches of snow. So we were kind of behind last year. If it feels snowier, it is. Now, if it feels colder, Mother Nature has been kind of playing with us. When it's been cold, it's been cold. Look at that first week of January, a couple of four degree high temperatures there. Then it warmed up, then it got cold, then it warmed up, and that's kind of how January went. Believe it or not, statistically, I'll save you the math, mm -hmm. we ended up almost average for the month of January. Okay, my mind was going to those couple of fours over there, I though. Know. That got really cold. Well, as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley tells us, there is a silver lining to all this snow and cold weather. It only takes a couple of days to, to really devastate a crop. Farmers like Brad Drought in Hamburg have to constantly be on guard for insects, especially with greenhouses filled with tens of thousands of young spring plants. So far this winter, we have not had any insect problems to speak of. Thanks to winter weather conditions that froze the ground outside, it looks like problem bugs that attack local food crops will also be down. Some always make it through but your populations are decreased greatly. Of course, future spring weather will play a role. The smaller number that you have to start off the year, usually the better off you are. But since this winter's cold also reached far into the southern states, that should help keep some troublesome insects away, at least early on. The colder it gets further down south, the better off we are, it takes them longer to make their way back up here. Last year, we saw problems with ticks and yellow jacket wasp, which have seen their numbers grow during previous mild winters. Kind of aggressive. They're getting in the posts of the pool. They're just everywhere. I run from them, yes. <laughs> While there is no way to know for sure, Ehrlich Press Control in Cheektowaga said our current long winter season might help with those problem bugs as well. With the warm-up, cool-down, warm-up, cool-down, yeah, it's going to take out a lot of the pest population. But there are some insects that need to increase in population, especially important pollinators like honeybees. We actually have hives brought into our farms, in, into our fields to do the pollinating because there are not a lot of wild honeybees around anymore. Beekeepers are hoping hives have made it through the winter without too much stress. Now the big variable in all of this is March. If things continue to stay really, really cold, it will help keep down the bug population. But if things warm up too quickly, just the opposite could happen. In Hamburg, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.